So we know keeping well uh, is important. That's not only important in all sorts of diseases like heart disease and um, uh, patients who have diabetes, for instance. We know that lung cancer, who, lung cancer patients who are well at presentation are able to tolerate the treatment better, able to get through more lines of treatment. And it's been an independent prognostic factor for very many uh, years and well established. So once the disease impacts the quality of life of a patient, how do we improve that? We know that measuring quality of life on trials is important, and that not only shows us the effectiveness of our treatment, but also the tolerability of the drugs that we're giving them. So there's two aspects to that quality of life. And now that we have patients living longer and we're reaching you know, 40% beyond 12 months, then we're getting to two years um, with both chemotherapy, immunotherapy combinations, immunotherapy on its own, as well as targeted agents have a completely different trajectory. We really need to keep our patients well, as well as live longer. And I think uh, our treatments, are, as, well as, the, uh, as well as the disease causes deconditioning of the body, People feel extremely lethargic when the disease is active, and therefore very quickly the body becomes deconditioned. Now, if we look at lung cancer patients in particular, they have a lot of comorbidities, um, chronic pulmonary obstructive disease, and maybe heart disease related to smoking, and they're generally not as fit as uh, other cancer patients that we may see. So they, they uh, represent a particular cohort um, of cancer patients. We know that in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, pulmonary rehabilitation is well established. A six week program in most hospitals, in most big centers is deliverable, feasible. I refer my patients already to that. What I would like to look at in the future is, are we able to deliver that similar um, type of pulmonary rehabilitation and general exercise, prescribed exercise from the physician to patients um, in my clinics who are often um, stage four disease, um, receiving treatment. Trials, uh, there's a very busy area and trials in this um, uh, arena have been designed Unfortunately, they've been poor at recruitment. And the reasons identified really is all the exercise prescription or the intervention has been done at diagnosis. Now there's so much going on at diagnosis, not only the diagnostic process, but all the psychological impact and all the appointments that the patients have to see me in my clinic and my colleagues who've got the patient to me. Um, it's a very difficult, busy time, and it's not a time where we can really uh, deliver another prescription uh, of exercise. So my proposal um, for a, uh, a feasibility study was to look at delivering exercise intervention at around 12 weeks when they finished their induction treatment, but only to those patients who are doing well on treatment because sadly we know that if you progress from first line treatment, you're unlikely to do well. And I think that um, survivorship is not really f going to be in those patients who's progressed first line. So if we could concentrate on the patients who have at least stable disease or get a response, and then we look at duration of response, we can then think about intervening and suggesting to patients that actually exercise and just walking, giving them a prescription for a week. I, I get asked in my clinic all the time, what can I do to make myself better? And actually, this has been my standard answer for a number of years now. Increase your exercise. Small steps, five minutes increase in walking every week if need be. So. I would like to um, propose a study, um, first of all, in the feasibility stage to see whether we can actually deliver pulmonary rehabilitation together with um, walking prescriptions in patients who are ongoing treatment, and they can be either at, uh, patients who are receiving targeted treatment, immunotherapy, even maintenance chemotherapy. 
and people who have perhaps stopped treatment and are in remission at that point.